Libra. Welcome to this just in time tarot reading and if you are watching this Libra trust that there is a message here for you and that message begins with the end of a tough cycle approaches. Hallelujah Libra. I love that card. Uh, full moon in Capricorn. Now the Capricorn energy often relates to our resources, our money, our home, our business. Um, sometimes it can link to the devil energy, right? That's the card of Capricorn in the major arcana. So something where we might have felt powerless, right? Um, feels like it's coming to an end. Something's coming full circle, completions, conclusion. So really love that energy for you. It really says Libra that a struggle is ending. Let's build on this message with the Oracle of the Angels and I've got fulfillment. Finally, back to getting fulfillment on your goals, dreams and wishes. Maybe they've been out of power in being able to, you know, transition towards new beginnings. Maybe you couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but now it is shining, Libra. That is a gorgeous energy. I'm kind of feeling sort of nine of swords to nine of pentacles energy here where finally things are forming into place right let's let's delve deeper here libra into the tarot the moon child tarot and the high priestess is here this is kind of interesting because the high priestess sits at an important threshold or gateway and we sort of see the same here you know someone is about to cross the line into a more positive fulfilling future here now the high priestess is about strong intuition i think you can feel the shift is coming and also you might receive some information soon as well that is really going to help you in this transition or end this tough cycle it could be good news that is coming to you now um the high priestess usually guards the doorway towards the new potential and the new growth but it's you that needs to step through let's get some more information libra oh, yeah i've got the six of wands interesting this is number six the fulfillment card is number six in that oracle deck and that's all about harmony and balance here so the six of wands is about coming out of a tough time or out of a struggle and challenge and you know really riding towards a victory okay sometimes with the six of wands you're being noticed for something like you're standing out as a front runner so maybe what you need to end this tough cycle is a new job or securing a new home or you know maybe something that you've applied for you're going to to get that good news you're going to get the win the six of wands is a win or a victory that maybe you can feel is coming oh my goodness page of wands that is a card of incredible news that takes you on a new adventure and a new journey um oftentimes the page of wands it comes in after let's say a tough cycle but it was a cycle where there was just no growth or no movement like you could not see a way out of this right dark night of the soul type of energy but finally that news is coming now if you haven't received this news or you don't have any sort of applications out there uh, for what you need, whether it's a home or a job, you must be seeking. Because remember, what you are seeking, Libra, is seeking you. And, you know, we can't expect the universe to uh, bring us an opportunity if we haven't created that energetic pathway, right? If we haven't opened that door, right? And then we will get the call to, to step through it. So we've got like big win energy here. We've got you know, incredible news coming. And the Queen of Wands, oh, it's just Wands, 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 which is finally action, movement, passion, growth. Now, this is an Aries person. You might get this message from an Aries person or the Queen of Wands, somebody who is this very warm person who really sees in you uh you know not only do they want to help you but they see they see that passion and they see that energy within you that is a match for whatever this thing is now the queen of wands is also an energy of determination to embody stay determined to manifest this ace of wands it connects to that all these uh, last three cards connect to the ace of wands for me which is an inspired and very passionate new beginning towards something that you have needed and wanted for some time and it's being represented actually as the ace of cups because it's actually really emotional as well so this is a really emotional new beginning like maybe you never thought this was going to happen or you're never going to get out of that tough time but spirit is saying like this is going to this is the first step in the pathway to the ten of cups right you if you make mindful decisions from here on in this can grow this can bloom this will transform you personally but 
also transform you know your life in some way oh my gosh eight of cups and it's going to allow you to finally move forward this is the missing piece that you've needed and yes you have felt intuitively that that change is coming well it's about to be delivered and the end of a tough cycle is approaching and finally things can grow and bloom and flourish in your life Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like a personal reading, tune in your, to your specific personal circumstances. Follow the first link down below to my website. And please do come across to Instagram if you would like uh, daily readings. Lots of content going on there as well. And don't forget to like, share, comment on this video. And please do hit that subscribe button on the way out. It makes more difference than you really can imagine. So I'm um, just wishing you all the love and magic, Libra. Do take care. Bye for now.